All right. Should be recording. I mean, you see the files, but I, I think the files appear and there's still a little bit of a lag at times. At least for the audio. Anyway, continuing in The Evil Within, uh, the Consequence DLC, this will be the second chapter to it. The final chapter as well. Um, and then at some point I will do The Executioner. A ghost is born. Um. Yeah. Can okay. you discern between evil and good? <laughs> That's right. The the boys and her did get separated at this point. No, no, no. And there goes the gun. Damn because it. of course, you can't have the Fuck. gun. So we still have the flashlight for the time being. Oh, and I still have an axe. Oh, man, that's awesome. I will not be kept here. Maybe I can burn through it. Hey. I'm... I'm just, you see, maybe I can burn through it with what? I'm, I'm really not... Oh. I'm sorry, but it's... Not what I was expecting. There. It's like I was thinking I was supposed to be keeping my distance from the weird bleeding picture. Talking, bleeding picture. Bleeding talking picture? What would be the order? Help! Help! Leslie! I mean, this does not sound wise, but I'm still gonna do it. No, don't risk it. Hold on. I think I see another way down. I'll meet you on a lower level. At least they're all right. Please, just stay out of my way. Surviving the fire incident and subsequent abuse from his parents, it's a miracle Reuben can function at all. His work comes from a place that isn't motivated by fear or money or social standing. His motives are more pure. I would say that he is obsessed with the chance to relive and remold reality so he can be with her again. His scarring is heavy, both physically and emotionally, but he longs for his lost sister. His love for her borders almost on an incestuous level, but as long as it provides motivation, so be it. I don't think that man counts as a uh, psychiatrist or psychologist. 
just because he, he clearly knows somebody has deep seated issues, and it's like, yeah, that's okay. Is Leslie? Which I am kind of wondering, based on... Was it... No, it was the end of the first DLC, wasn't it? I don't... I don't think it was just in the previous part. Um... Would it be fair to say, though, that at this point... Ruben... Rubik actually has taken over Leslie? This is not positive. Well, okay, no, technically it is positive. That it's likely adding something there. But, um, something I don't want. Ruvik's trying to take control of him. Maybe I can stop him. she can't climb over that thing. Ghostbuster 2 vibes from this, by the way. <laughs> the whole treatment of the painting, too. Holy shit. Maybe I can stop Ruvik then. Eh. Sorry, I just want to look around to see if there's another axe anywhere. With the bottle. Better than nothing, I guess. I think it's believable Leslie would not have gone in here. So this will be to find some collect. Yep. Yellow is seven.
There we go, red 11. <sighs> even though I could just, you know, start spinning it around. Oh, there, six. I, I still wanted to try to find it. figured that since that is the stronger light, that's the way to go, so check the other way first. Oh, there's a cat there. So that we, are, uh, we have a save point. They shouldn't have put something so close. Uh, no, come on. Get up. I revisited the Victoriano estate yesterday. It's a vestige, a mere husk of what was bound to be such a home of promise. Mobius reaped nearly everything of value when we took on the research ourselves, but Reuben's notes indicate he was involved in something else. There were plans for another STEM prototype. Data about using receptors to transmit the brain function wirelessly to unaware users. It's borderline parapsychology, but these schematics and the scientific backup provided seem sound. What was he planning to do with such a thing? There's only one way to find out for certain, but I must continue these experiments in private, away from their prying eyes. I will not let them know, lest they take this from me as well. These things are blind. As long as I don't come in contact with them, I make a loud noise. I think I'll be okay. They are disgusting.
Looks like there is no going back. Well, that's a problem. That was so That's not a good sound. <laughs> That's not fast. Gotta go. Keeper fight. Huh? What was that about? I I, I just want to check, and that it's gonna be easy to turn this way. A real hero saved Sebastian's life in the hotel because somebody sent the dumbwaiter uh, to him when he was fighting the keeper. And that, that was you. Oh god, more of them. Can I thank you? Oh. 
I created this world. Okay, what am I... Oh, here's an egg. Thank you for letting me know that, you know, letting me see that earlier. Yeah, I, I, I... I'm sorry. There's this nice, lovely hallway before you are in danger. Put the axe there! Is that... No, that, that doesn't really stand out. Especially not when th there's the blood drop things going by. It, it doesn't matter. I, I can't survive. And also, I feel like pointing out one axe, three enemies. I clearly saw it stop and turn, facing the other way, and then apparently turned right back. Oh, you gotta be kidding. <laughs> Son of a bitch. You cannot kill me. Wait, what? There it is. I wanted to crouch, I didn't want to go back in.
It's just even more annoying the one that is actually came after me. I'm getting a drink of water. Give me the gun. It's all right. Everything's gonna be fine. Especially now that I have the gun. Not safe. Hurry! This way! Oh. Oh, it's another one. Um... No bullet. I hope that bastard doesn't come back. For your sake, Leslie. Is this is that a spot that we see them? Yeah. I don't remember if this is the spot where we killed Joseph or if that's a little later. Leslie can go home. Can take the train all the way home. No, Leslie. Not today. You're Protect me? Yes. 
That's my job. Good, good, good. When I get home, they'll be surprised. And this is where Seven Joseph P. I'm sorry. Stop! You're making a terrible mistake. You don't understand. You don't know what he'll become. We know exactly what he'll become. That's why we need him. You don't understand what Ruvik is after. Ruvik is a corpse! He's after Leslie. And so are we. And you're more afraid of him than us? Don't patronize me. I have orders. But I can't let him have this boy. Leslie is the only one who can... I think this is definitely a good time to save. Because something's about to happen. moving here. Oh, not anymore. Oh, shit. He's too far gone. I've got to stop him. I don't fully know this guy's path. I'm not worried about the one on the other side. He, he's cycled, so... The fact that he hasn't seen me already means I'm good.
Right. It's all of them. Oh no, this is just a place to hide. Was your waste of life something you wish to return to? Are you not grateful for what we've done for you? We let you into our circle. We gave you a new life. Why will you turn your back on us? Why will you not stand with us? <laughs> no! Shut it up and get out of the way! Hopefully they didn't just break the flashlight. Nope. And I can't help but feel like that's not what it would look like behind the uh, thing. Behind the panel. Okay, th that's what I thought. The location just changed. It's getting very annoying. Oh, he's not gonna get me. The whole you move a little bit and it's like, oh no, we cut that off. It's like, no, come on, let that play. Especially because that, it's like, no, you should be allowed to move more than a few. like this. He became catatonic after a traumatic experience as a child. His family was murdered in front of him. The data would suggest that brainwave synchronization with Reuben correlates to specific trauma. In this case, Reuben's own loss of family. This will not do. We need something else at the core. Something more acceptable to a whole range of people. I don't care if I could stand up and go more quickly here. I am being cautious. It's like it's a horror game. I shouldn't be running. I have learned that over these years of doing these videos. There's nothing in. We 
need someone rational inside STEM. Potentially that person could neutralize Ruben. I mean, Ruvik. With my knowledge of the system, I may be of some... Absolutely not. We can't afford you complicating this any further. We will prepare one of our own. Sending someone inexperienced, we... We can't even be sure they can come back. Then it will need to be someone... Expendable. Expendable. So that's how you see me. And I trusted you. Now and there. Yep. What the hell? Where am I now? I guess move its basement. There we go. No, that's... Just weird how the lighting was. Sebastian was here? Oh, lovely. Mm -hmm. right. I'm going to start running too.
tell if that might have been Leslie down there. That's the way that Seb went. I just, since I saw, I think Joseph referred to him as Seb, it's just easier to say Seb than Sebastian. That's all. It's like since that is apparently an accepted nickname for him. Okay, drink the water. Hopefully, don't need my right hand. Enough of this shit. I, mean, I know I saw the, the ring thing. The warning that... One of them was alerted. I think I'd jump right in to wait, but... Also seems it doesn't do anything. Okay, where is the other one? Just another place to hide. <laughs> Might know I'm in here, but it shouldn't. I shouldn't know which one I'm in. Well, that was bullshit. 
It should not have known which one I was in. Wow, that was just trash. I'm dead. See? why it allowed you to go this far. I, I was half expecting it to just be a collector. That it was, that it really was, um, uh, just for, uh, just for hiding, but it's like, then it kept going, so it's like, oh, collectible? No, nothing. But it also, I've already been here, haven't I? Like, this was in the, um... In the first part. Uh, of the, the assignment, I mean. have got to be kidding me! Utter bullshit! I completely was up behind that thing. Ah, damn it. I should have been able to kill with the axe. I, it's like unquestionable. I should have been able to do that. It's like, nope. Such bullshit. Now I'm out of ammo because of that bullshit. That I mean, th that was undeniable. That was undeniable bullshit. I do not trust for one second that I could have uh, opened that up with it right there. They would have no. Come on.
Can I please get into cover somewhere? Nope. I, uh, yeah, this is... It's like, I, I have... I, I was fucked. Very hard right there. There was nothing I could do. I... I understand the concept to the whole below a certain amount of health you can't run. I can understand that. That doesn't mean it's a good idea to implement like this. Because now it's like, oh yeah, you just need to run. Why would I think that? Why would I think that? That is not how I play my games. That is not how I play my games. Why are you saying, no, 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 I have to play it your way? Clearing, I don't like running. But it's just some game designers don't seem to accept that that's a way that some people want to play. Probably the best example I can think of would be Warframe, which, true, I have not touched for many years now. But I, I remember when playing. Very disappointing. And again, it, it, I'm sorry, no. you're an idiot. It's Rubik. I mean, it's the way, oh man, you shouldn't have it where, oh yeah, once you enter a certain spot, it starts playing some special animation that gives you exposition, and then have the, have it just, oh, and when you exit the zone, it shuts off. It's like, no, that's stupid. What kind of idiot did that? Seriously, that's stupid. Because, I mean, just by momentum, I end up exiting. Because I didn't stop moving in time. It's like, you don't want me to know this story then. Why are you doing this? Ah. But going back She's to the Warframe thing. Um, when I played it, it was based, well, at the time at least, the design was unlimited enemies, but still limited ammo. I like clearing, as I said. So basically, I can't play the way I want to play because that would just kill me. Because I, I run out of ammo and have no ability to stop the never-ending enemies. Okay, I guess it is that door then. Unless... Nope. Okay. Where is it? Okay, it's Or not? Um... Okay... There's nothing here. the way I came in. I already tried that door, nothing. Um. Yeah. There, there's literally nothing to do here. Just looking up a walkthrough.
really amazing if it wasn't a video walkthrough. Near the area. Okay. Move up for a scene with the administrator. That's the G-Man type guy. And use your light to open the path past the gate here. Go through it, then examine it. So that... The heck? Hey, the heck? I, I have, like, this weird... It, it's a pop-up thing. Like a mouse-over type thing. Ah, oh, there we go. It was from Steam. Okay. I know I tried shining the light at it and nothing happened. I know I did that. What the hell? Was I too close when I shined it? Was I too far away? I, I, I don't know. But it annoys me that it could be that sensitive. Please, roll up your sleeve. Whoa, now! That's a big syringe! Don't think you're putting that fucking thing in me! Miss Kidman, you agree to this. Don't forget that. Nothing we're doing is malicious. It's only proper protocol. You know what's proper protocol? Telling the person getting the fucking shot where the hell she is and what's the fucking point. Ow! Damn it! That hurt. Hey guys, what the fuck? Is anyone there? You give me a shot, then just let this weird video play on repeat? Some great fucking medical science you've got going on in here. About damn time. All right, can I go now? Not right now, Miss Kidman. How are you feeling? Any headaches? Nosebleeds, perhaps? What? No. But I do feel a little floaty. Almost like I'm underwater. That's consistent with the effects of the compound. We just have one last part of this test to partake in. Then you will be free to go. Sure. Go for it, I guess. Good. I will now ask you a series of questions. You will answer them while watching the images in front of you. You will not look away from the screen. Do you understand? Yes. Question number one. Have you ever felt abandoned by the ones you trusted? I need to check something now. Uh... Just, I have to be going in 40 minutes. I'd like to really have this done well before that, more like half an hour, and I don't really know if that's good. Come on. No. Come on. Get up. Get up. I get it's cute, but I don't like the whole I have to manually tell, it, tell the game to let me. You give yourself to us. 
You made the choice of your own free will. We were the only ones who cared. The ones who took you from your useless life. We gave you a reason to exist. And how do you thank us? By destroying our work? Where will you go when you leave us, kid? Who will help us? I'm actually okay with that time, shutting him up. about Leslie. There's no use hiding this anymore. I'll enter the system and my return will be proof that all of this was worth it. I can of course convince them that it wasn't for me. It was for their goals. There are just the final tweaks left. Once I finish, I will put Leslie in the stem with myself and activate it. The wireless... Sorry, it's just, you know, since I know I am running short on time, I don't really feel like letting them go. Oh, hey, ammo. Oh, I'm full. is me. I'm connected. Just like everyone else. I'm getting out of here. Joseph. Leslie. Uh, Leslie. Menace. The Seb. Oscar, I think it's his name. Okay. And of course, there's Ruth. Sebastian, get away from him. Sebastian, listen to me. Stop. Your interests are the same as ours. Look, I get it. You're not just some rookie detective, and this is not just some ordinary kid. You killed Joseph and you shot me. So right at this moment, that's enough reason for me not to trust you. You're a good man. That's why I... 
doesn't matter anymore. If you know who this kid is, if you know anything, you know why he can't be allowed to live. Bullshit. It's Ruvik. He's the one that... It... gonna see this differ from what was in the base game. I'm just curious. None of this is real. You aren't real. You want to believe that, but I'm right here. I've been with you this whole time. This world is a nightmare. But I'm not afraid of you anymore. That just shows how little you understand. You should be very afraid. We have you, kid. And you know the consequences for failure. We won't let you just leave us. You fulfilled what little use you have. This world is a prison for you to run in. Fuck you. I've had enough of this. I'll kill you right here. Oh, I, I honestly wasn't expecting it to, you know, do anything. What does this world look like to you? Well, I'm dead, aren't I? Ah. Come on! I'm dead. Tell me, kid, what do you see? Damn it.
try and fight us, kid. I think I'm safe to do this. Is there any more? It does seem like that's a no. It's a shame you'll never see what we accomplished. Is that it? In which case, then I definitely made time. Did the cat just leave me a gun? With ammo? Suddenly, that's a nice cat instead of an asshole cat. Thought it was gonna be completely controlled, so I started getting a drink of water. I'm stronger than you think. Are you sure enough in yourself? Sure enough to face the responsibilities of your actions? Agent Kidman, we've got him from here. How long has it been? 37 minutes since the first pulse. How did we get here? 
What are you talking about? Uh, just give me a minute. I need to Myra. get my head straight. Myra, we need you back here. All right. But we've huh. got word he wants a debriefing as soon as you get back. Uh. Myra. Yeah, that's a uh, what? <laughs> To the real world, Sebastian. I hope you find what you're looking for. Leave that one. And those two. They're not going anywhere. No one is. Alright. So, does Evil Within 2 address the whole Myra thing? <laughs> because what we saw in the base game would suggest, I mean, that she was killed, but, um, or kidnapped or something, but not that she would be in any position of authority with Mobius. Then she did also, she was wearing that glove, though, that had that, that one, like, nail kind of design, which is now in, um, has been cut into Kidman's hand. So I kind of wonder if, if it was something like they've manipulated her. I don't know. I could try looking it up, but... You know, at some point I do intend to play Evil Within 2, so I can just find out then. And who knows, maybe there'll be some story explanation stuff in Executioner, the third DLC? Um, that's hard to say, though. Because it doesn't seem like it should have much. Just based in general on what it is. You're playing as a Keeper. And apparently you get to fight other Keepers. I... I'm guessing it might have been a, yeah, the gamers said they wanted more action. Can't do that without characters. Let's do it with one of the enemies. And I got 20 minutes yet before I'd absolutely positively have to stop. Hope is dropped and lost. Some yeah, looking at the oximeter, I don't think 86 makes sense for my heart rate. Sound is a twist. But um Yeah, I definitely feel like a, a, as many issues as the well, really it was just a as Many complaints as I had with the combat in the base game, it still handled it better than the than the, the two DLC. I mean, just I get the whole you want it to be more of a stealth thing, but no, you didn't really succeed at that, especially with the the shade, the the light woman thing. I mean, just that, no, no, basically every encounter with that thing, it was like, no, this was, this was badly done. Because it, you were just at far too many disadvantages against that thing. Or rather, it is far too many advantages over you, that, without any compensation. Actually, hang on. I, I want to look 
Jackson también. Just looking up Julie Kidd. It looks like this is uh, Okay, she does also appear in Evil Within 2. That's mainly what I was curious. But I'm also... Okay. She returns as an important ally of Sebastian in Evil Within 2. Because apparently Sebastian is also the main character for Evil Within 2. I was just curious and looking at something else. Um, looking up some stuff on Joseph. Apparently, he is still alive. Which seems odd. I mean, just. I mean, even without the whole. He was shot in the chest and then abandoned. It just. I don't know what the value would be to, um keeping him alive, story-wise. I, I I don't know what he contributes. But it did also... I didn't look at it too closely, in part because what was being described, it's like, this doesn't make sense. <laughs> I mean, it's like the explanation. I, I don't understand what's being said here. Um, but apparently, he is also present in the third DLC in Executioner. And it sounds like there is some more information on his situation there. So... Hopefully it'll make more sense in the DLC than what I was trying to read there. Um, but, uh... Yeah, just going back to my point, I, I don't know why he's... Why he necessarily survives, because, like, Kidman has a point, has a purpose. Sebastian obviously has a purpose. Leslie now has a purpose because it's he's carrying Ruvik. 
no one else really has a purpose anymore. Anyway. I mean, J Joseph was just another ally, basically, is what it felt like. So... I I I'm, that does leave me curious, then, about if he is going... Like, how, what his presence is after this. And also sound like, based on what I was seeing, that, that he's not... He's mentioned in Evil Within 2, but he's not really present in Evil Within 2, so is there... Is he going to be in an Evil Within 3, assuming that gets made? Yeah, actually, let me, let me try to quickly look that up, too. These long credits. It almost feels like... Okay, yeah, I do not trust that heart. That doesn't... Hang. There. I just pulled it off. Put it back on. So just looking up Evil Within 3, it looks like... I mean, unfortunately, I'm not seeing anything here to clearly state... Well, I'm not seeing, like, dates on certain things, but it seems like there's a plan for it. I'm also seeing something suggesting... Oh. Yeah, seeing something else suggesting that there um, will be more this year. I don't, I can't, that a trailer, Evil Within 3 trailer coming 2021. There's no punctuation there, so that's either the trailer is coming in 2021, or it's a trailer for the game saying it's coming in 2021. I don't feel like watching on my phone, but regardless, the clear implication is, yes, Evil Within 3 is a thing that is being worked on, is a thing that is coming. Good. <laughs> if nothing else, we'll get to find out what the hell's up with the with Joseph, assuming that I don't get my questions answered just between Executioner and Evil Within 2. But that will probably be quite a while before I get to Evil Within 2. Executioner, I'll either do later today or tomorrow. Um, yeah. I really don't want to skip this, but I kind of do, because it's just silence now. Um... So... I guess I could have tried looking. Um, I'm just wondering about the the wound to her hand, that, that nail shape. I mean, it's more like a half nail, really. Um, shape cut into a hand, because part of it I can almost believe that it's supposed to be akin to, um, like it was an injury from the, uh, uh, syringe, not the syringe, the needle that we saw, uh, inserted back in the first part. Um, but if that were the case, then it would also, well, I was going to say if that were the case, then it might be that we would also see that on Sebastian in case they put similar IVs into him. But, yes, they did give Kidman something special so that she would have some level of resistance. Um, it could also just be something like a brand on her for some reason. Uh, a glove would obviously be able to cover that, though. Um, and there was something else that crossed my mind when I was, like, within the last 60 seconds, and then I left my mind. Don't you hate it when that happens? Um, I'm trying to think of what it did. Oh, yeah, yeah. The whole, why was she standing? Like, she regained consciousness while standing. Does that mean that she wasn't actually hooked up? That she was just there? Or was it that she was taken out and was standing there? When she finally, like, realized it? When she finally woke up? That sort of thing? 
And it could also just be that, you know, she was in there through the wireless connection that was talked about. That's why it was a snail. Tango Gameworks, their logo is a snail. And achievement not, where do we go from here? There. Alright, so I can quit. Hopefully get things set up and going. Before, um, uh, before I have to go, all that, but, uh, yeah, so next time it shall be execution. And hang on, I just noticed, <laughs> I'm, I'm looking at the, the graph here and I can see how, yeah, it looks like when I pulled it out, it fell and then it had, when I pulled off the cylinder, but then it righted itself after, wow, that's quite a while, um, <laughs> But it, it did definitely drop, so it was was being weird. It's being a little weird now that's that high, but whatever. Sometimes, as I've said in the previous part, sometimes when I'm watching my heart rate, it starts going up. Anyway, see you next time.